What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. And things are starting to come together for the Pixel Book review. This isn't the Pixel Book review video, but there was one hold up. I didn't have the pen and the pen actually came in the mail today. I didn't want to do the review on the Pixel Book without it because to me, this feels like it's going to be a core part of the Pixelbook experience. And I also wanted to have the pen to share with the users, to share with the viewers, uh, just because you may be interested in getting the pen. So let's go ahead, let's get into this. Okay, so the packaging for this is going to be pretty similar to the packaging for the Pixelbook itself. So the lid's just gonna slide right off nice and smooth. We're gonna have some instructions here on how to get started with it. And then also some safety warranty information. So we're gonna have this little tab here to help us pull the pen out, just like on the Pixel Book, how that was packaged. The pen has a little bit of weight to it. It actually feels a little bit heavier than a standard pen. Now I have a nice pen that I like to use for work and that would be this one here. I like the thickness of it when it comes to writing, it's super easy. And this here, the Pixelbook pen, I feel is going to be good. It's about the same thickness. It's slightly longer than this pen, but it's going to feel like a thicker pen. It's going to be nice to hold. Now we gotta get the plastic off here. As you can see, there is a button here that's going to be used for accessing the Google Assistant. Now going back to the box, there is going to be a battery in here. This pen is battery powered. You'll have a very small battery here. This may not look familiar and that's because it is a quadruple A battery. So we're going to go ahead, grab the pen and stick the battery in there. Now this here is going to unscrew nice and easy. And again, all of this is working just like a pen would. And the battery is going to go in just like that. Nice and snug, screws together and unscrews just like a pen here would unscrew and screw together. So they really went to an extent to make this feel just like a regular pen. Going back to the packaging, there doesn't seem to be anything else in here. There aren't any extra tips or anything like that, which is something that reviewers were pointing out. If we look at what came with the Samsung Chromebook Plus, you did get the pen here and you did get some extra tips. You also got a tool to remove the tips. You're not going to get that here with the Pixelbook pen, but if you want to compare the Samsung Chromebook Plus pen or Pro pen to the Pixelbook pen, this is what you're going to look at here. And as you can see, this one is going to be just nicer to hold compared to the Samsung Chromebook Plus pen. Just, it's kind of thin. It's kind of too short for my hands. I've got big hands here. Okay, so we got the pen here and I didn't press anything yet. I just want to see if it's going to automatically connect to the Pixel Book. So we're just going to try to move around here and yeah, it's going to just work right away. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, hold the circle on here and we're going to circle around. And I am having a little bit of a hard time here. I'm actually going to try this in a different mode and see if this is going to make it a little easier. I think the problem with the pen is when we go to use it, because this is on hinges and the hinges move easy, the screen kind of moves too, so you can't get enough pressure with the pen. We're going to go ahead and try this out again. And again, we're having some issues here. So I circled the Honda Civic here, and as you can see, it pulled up in the Google Assistant, but it didn't really give me anything. So there is another thing with the Pixelbook pen, and that is there is no storage for it in the Pixelbook. And this is disappointing because you do just set the pen here, and it could just roll away, get lost easy. So if you're looking for a device that comes with a pen and has storage, 
you're going to probably want to go with the Samsung Chromebook Plus. The pen actually stores in the side here, comes out easy, goes in easy. Of course, it's not going to have the Google Assistant built into it. That will be a downside. But this here in itself is a downside, not having storage for the pen and the Pixelbook. Now you can get a sleeve off of the Google Store, a Bellroy sleeve, hopefully I said that right, where you could store the Pixelbook in the sleeve and there is an actual spot for the Pixelbook pen to hold that in place. So it's kind of like they're making you go this route where you have to buy more accessories. So we gotta make sense of the whole situation and remember that these are new devices. And with anything that first comes out, it's new. Naturally, we're gonna have some issues. Now, as with the functionality of the Pixelbook pen, you can see that I did have some issues using it on the Pixelbook. But I can see with time that these issues will be addressed with updates and Google is normally really good about that. But I could see for a pen that cost $100, initially I, would, I am pretty disappointed. I paid for this uh, with my own money, but I'm optimistic and I'm, I'm going to do some more with this. And as time goes on, hopefully I could say this thing is going to be better and hopefully I don't say, you know, hey, this is a waste of your money. I would say if you're looking into the Pixelbook pen, I would say probably just wait a little bit longer. Let other people use it. Let other people deal with the stress. I'll deal with the stress. I'll give you the updates. You know, I'll try to keep my hair. I'm still fairly young here. And uh, then you can probably pick one up as things hopefully improve. So that is pretty much it for this video today. Again, I am going to be using the Pixelbook pen more with the Pixelbook and I will be given an update in the actual Pixelbook review video. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you can support the channel, hit that subscribe button. It'll help us out. And until next time, Leon checking out.